Dear friends, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning, afternoon and evening to all of you. Happy International Women's Day. Thank you all for taking time to be part of this important event. It is notable that every year, the International Women's Day celebrations are getting bigger with more achievements. Let me begin by saying women's rights are human rights. A violation against women's rights, be it social or economic, is a violation against their human rights. 25 years ago, the Beijing Platform for Action set the pace for us. Undoubtedly, there has been some progress made in women's leadership, as we now have 20 women's heads of state. Despite the progress made, we are still a long way from achieving gender equality. This is still no fundamental shift on gender inequality. Women still face big barriers every day. The biggest one being stereotype and lack of proper policies. We have seen new barriers emerging from the pandemic, exacerbating gender inequalities and derailing the hard-won progress on gender equality over the years. Women's participation in leadership is catalytic towards the achievements of a sustainable world and of paramount importance to achieving the SDGs and the new urban agenda. As we aim for a more inclusive post-pandemic world, let us work together, engaging with our peers and our networks to eliminate gender imbalances in decision-making and leadership. Allow me to highlight some key issues for our consideration. To have a gender-sensitive approach in leadership, we must increase women's participation and create gender awareness and competence among both women and men in the political and leadership arena. First, we must continue creating and implementing policies that allow the support women's participation in leadership. Second, awareness raising is key in ensuring women's participation in leadership. We must get rid of the many stereotypes that are holding us back. Third, we need to measure the progress being made on gender equality. The issue of women's participation in leadership is one of the critical areas where reliable data and information is lacking. UN Habitat's mandate is building inclusive, sustainable cities. The concerns of women and girls and especially women and girls with disabilities, as well as older women, are front and center of our strategies, policies, plan, and projects. We are committed to scaling up collaborative partnerships with women's organizations, especially those that work closely with communities. Through active participation of women's groups and grassroots women, Women's and girls' human rights are enhanced and integrated as key components of all decision-making and governance processes. Dear friends and colleagues, it takes everybody's engagement to achieve gender equality, to have women in positions of leadership. Ask yourself today, as an individual, what contributions will you make in the fight against gender inequalities? As an international gender champion, I will continue to prioritize the pursuit of gender equality and the empowerment of women within 
and beyond my organizations. Friends, as we celebrate International Women's Day, let us celebrate the resilience, strength, and determination of women and girls in our cities, communities, and all around the world. Let us join hands and work together to ensure that no one, no place, and no woman is left behind. Thank you all. Asante sana.